all right guys so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is yusuf lukman also known as lay edit and on today's session we'll be going through a little bit of how to make use of the effect you've been watching on my youtube now i actually got the question a lot after i created the fractal glass effects tutorial and the question has been how can we apply it how can we use it on our design so this video is going to be displaying how to make use of the design or effects in your design now basically the essence of this is mostly to give your design a kind of depth feel a realistic touch a spice and more so it's not really a must that it's all displays in your design no but once in a while when needed it could probably give your design that very spice it might need to attract the audience because we all know social media designs are meant to attract to they are meant to actually um, be colorful bright not saturated please don't mix those colorful bright and engaging also so that will probably kick off with a little or quick design which we will be using for this session so all my resources are available and um so this basically is the design we will be using on this session yes it was quickly designed and um we could probably go through it again um, who knows we probably feel like some details might probably come out well but for the sake of the tutorial designs will come in later as this is basically to communicate how you should go about applying so basically looking at the design the use of the swell is basically to add an in-depth now i had a question from someone last time asking me why this shape like i said you can create any shape you like just depend on how well or how creative your mind is now this was the one i did from my previous video i saved it among the tip i gave so you can actually walk around it and you know, edit it to your preferred color if you're working with a different color so and also this can also be used to create contrast as you can see it's plain not nice so basically this is one now you can also apply this with the light effects and um if you're yet to watch it um it's on the channel you can quickly go through it in a minute of 10 minutes or so and you'll probably learn how that is done so let's talk and let's get into the main base now we all know for a fact that pssc 19 doesn't really has that text feature so that is one we don't have that text feature whereby we can probably type in and know design ultra so basically it's better you design from pixel lab then you explore your layers so as to place them or put them in places and use in your design so for this we will be creating um kind of dark version so i probably want the text to be white and this also i'm creating this to be white okay now this is looking nice so let's export our designs for this export as png safety gallery enable text save as image png save to gallery And we can also save this to our gallery now 
Now let's head over to PACC19 and get one or two things done. So for this, we'll be going with document size and this work with perfect square of 1080 by 1080 and that should be good enough. So now let's add in all our elements. So that a bit in place. The first is to actually create the background. Now uh, this is actually a nice color, but we'll be working with um a little bit of orange. So let's we'll form the subject itself. So we quickly create a quick light effect. So we have a Lazio tool. I just draw and kind of shape. Now to add in more depth and the realistic look. So we like to create the kind of um, light reflection on our subject. So now head over here, subject will be selected, select pixels and create an empty layer above the subject. Now that being done and said, fill that empty layer with black. Great. Now you probably leave the blend mode as it is or you work on the opacity either of the two. So this is okay by me. And you select that. So it's kind of a bit dark. <clears throat> and then we reselect again. And another empty layer. Now this should be above the created shadow right here. And let's head over to our brush and quickly paint. So this should be good enough. We'll probably take out time to perfect. Make use of the razor tool to smooth the edges of the lights. Bend it in properly and great. All right. Now that right there is looking good and superb. Now. The next thing is how to apply the fractal glass effect on the design. Now, there are actually two ways you can go about this. It's first to export out without the subject because the fractal effect will work best on the background. So that's one, export out without the subject and also export with the subject so you probably like get the chance to explore so i will quickly head over to magic pattern and get the effects done so all right so um when you're done generating i already deleted mine so enable this back and import in the results you got from magic pattern so first we will look at that without the subject now 
it's looking nice but not what we want because we don't want it to be everywhere so the best thing here to do is to either erase or make use of the fade option in pscc 19 so i personally will say you erase but first explore the fade option have brought it a bit down to where we want it to reflect more now this is where you head over to eraser and edit by raising out parts which you don't want visible on your design so we'll probably leave it like this or you can know take out time adding more this and that now let's try and import in the very one with the subject and i can probably bring this above i bring this above and then let's just erase instead of going through the old fade and all show pointer to sized up and let's erase all right now that is there and you can see we already applied that now looking at it when zoomed in some areas are still very much visible so just do well so clean up properly we'll clean up properly all right so that looks nice and um yeah there it is looking great now to add in the last touch we're probably adding some details some little bit of 3d elements you can um get some on png wing yes and get some on PAG wings but let's just add a little bit of this here and there all right and my signature all right so this right here and done and let's export that save to gallery and right so there you have it and here is the design you can take up time to add in a little bit of clarity sharpness and texture it up on lightroom so the design looks great and um there you have it a quick tour on how to effect the effects on your designs so that's kind of a total right there so we'll see you next time and